Hello and welcome back. I'm Simon taking you through wedges and screws. Uh -huh. For each one of them we shall define, we shall look at examples and we shall look at the uses. We are beginning with wedges. What is a wedge? A wedge is a double inclined plane. A wedge is a double inclined plane used for cutting, splitting or piercing things. A wedge is a double inclined plane. So the symbol for a wedge is this one here. Already we saw that an inclined plane is one of these. Remember, an inclined plane is a right hand, right angled triangle. Now, we have this first one and the second one. So the examiner can just decide to ask you, identify the simple machine represented by the symbol below. That is a wedge. Examples of wedges we have got a panga, knife, we have a clever, we have got an axe, slasher. So the first ones are used for cutting or splitting. Cutting or splitting. Panga, knife, clever, axe, slasher. Then the ones that are used for piercing, I have bullet, nail, arrow, spear, pin, there are others, needles, etc. Mm -hmm. Pictures. Uh, let me begin by showing you some of the wedges that I brought with me. A pair of scissors um, is a, a pair of scissors is also is both a lever and it's a wedge. It's a wedge because it is used for cutting things. It's a double inclined plane for cutting things. I have knives here, different kinds of knives. Uh, this knife is used for cutting things. It can be used for peeling food and doing a lot of other good work. I have a needle. I have a pin here. That's a pin. That pin is used for piercing things. I have also got a nail. I have a nail here. This nail is used for piercing things. Okay, so uh, the picture of an axe like I said, we are in the corona times. Accessing things is not easy uh, because we are in a lockdown or quarantine. Now, this is the axe with a handle. Sometimes they draw for us an axe without a handle. And then they ask us, which, under which group of simple machines does that device fall? Mm -hmm. Then, panga there. This is a clever. Clever is used for cutting meat. Uh, spears and arrows are used as weapons. So, Going to the uses of the wages, you single out one and you give its importance. An axe is used for chopping firewood. Uh, a panga is used for cutting small tree. A clever is used for cutting meat. A knife, this knife is used for peeling food. Mm -hmm. So those are the uses of wages. Uh -huh. Then getting to screws. Um, we are defining, then we give examples, then we shall look at the uses. A screw is an inclined plane that is wound around a rod. It is an inclined plane that is wound around a rod. Most of these simple machines are interrelated with each other. They are interrelated with each other. That's why a wedge, we called it a, we called it a double inclined plane. Then the screw, we are also using inclined plane on it. Then with the pulleys, you'll find some pulleys might be called the levers and so on. The, the wheel and axle, I called the wheel and axle two rotating levers. So in a way or another, these machines are interrelated. It is like they got an inclined plane and wound it around a rod. Mm -hmm. Then examples of devices that use a screw mechanism. We have got a screw nail. We have nuts and bolts. We have got what they call a card jack. We have the engineer's vice. We have bottle lids and a winding staircase. I'm beginning by showing you a screw nail. This is called a screw nail. Screw nails are those nails that hold the, the, the top of your desk to the, to the stand. Yeah, those are screw nails. That is a screw nail there. Then I have nuts and bolts this is a nut with a bolt the bolt is this one at the top and this is the nut mm -hmm. 
already some people are thinking what they do, their uses. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we have got the kajak. This is the nut with its bolt. This is the kajak. Uh, we have got bottle tops, bottle lids or bottle tops. They, they use a screw mechanism. It's like an inclined plane that is wound around this rod there. Mm -hmm. So you must be knowing the importance of that bottle top there before we really get into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We still have that. There's that inclined plane that is wound around that rod. Then we have got what they call engineer's vice. The engineer's vice is used by engineers and other people like carpenters when they are fixing certain things together. Carpenters use it to hold wood together, for example, when they are making a door. Then we have got this adjustable range or ad adjustable spanner. Mm -hmm. Adjustable. It has a screw. It's adjustable because it can, you can adjust it to be able to hold different sizes of screws. Mm -hmm. So those are the examples of devices that use the screw mechanism. Uh -huh. Getting into the uses of screws, still, like we have always said, single out one and tell us what it does. A card jack is used to lift vehicles when changing the car tires. Mm -hmm. Bottle lids help to prevent fluids from uh, flow pouring. Uh, then nuts and bolts are used for fixing components of devices together. For example, a car. A car has got very many nuts and bolts. We have the frame of the car, we have the ch chassis of the car, then we have got the tires, the engine, all those things are fixed together using nuts and bolts. Screw nails are also used for holding components of things together. So those are the uses of screws. Uh, we have looked at wedges and screws. We have defined each. We have looked at examples under each and we have looked at the uses of each. Uh, don't forget to share with a friend. Uh, subscribe to Study 101 Uganda. Thank you.